Hello, welcome to my presentation on how to create a transparent signature using the GIMP and then inserting that signature into an OpenOffice document. The best method of creating a signature in a document is to make a transparency. Think of it as signing your name on a glass pane. You can see everything through the glass and still see the signature. Here you can see I've already scanned my signature into the GIMP. The problem is it has a white background and that can interfere with the text in the document. Allow me to uh, demonstrate how a non-transparent image works inside of a document. Here I, you can, I created this uh, pseudo document within OpenOffice to demonstrate the insertion of signatures. Let me, there we go. This uh, signature here is a has a white background. It's not a transparent. It's just demonstrating some of the problems we have with it, with a non-transparent. Now, when I put this, oops, shoving the text. I need to change that to wrap through. There we go. But now you can see that the text is staying in place, but it's being covered up by the background. I can put this in to move the uh, image to the background but this creates other problems. The text itself is on top of your signature. Looks like you signed behind the document. The other problem is that when you go to print it out the printer may um, print a, a tinted rectangle where the background is and that will not look professional. Now let's get back to the GIMP and I'll show you how to create a transparency. The first thing uh, we need to do here is um, um, crop the uh, signature. I'm using the selection tool. I'm holding down the key on my mouse and dragging. Now I need to go to image here on the menu bar and click on crop to selection. Now I need to make a transparency out of this so I'll go to layer and click on uh, transparency go to, click on add to alpha channel this will add the transparency information to the layer now this is a transparency but it don't look like it remember that glass I had um, talked about earlier the uh, white background is like paint on that glass we have to scrape all that paint off now I'm going to hold down my control key on my keyboard and I roll the wheel on my mouse. This allows me to zoom. Well, now we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to take this eraser. Oops. Need to make it a little bit bigger. I hover over this, roll the wheel with my mouse, change the size of the uh, eraser. As you see, um, this gray checker board as in the background there it's appearing. This is the GIMP's um, way of uh, representing the uh, transparency. Another way to uh, removing a lot of, uh, of the background at one bump at a time um, is use the selection tool, select an area and then press the delete key. I can go ahead and manually uh, work my way around the signature erasing every bit of this but with the GIMP there is a tool that uh, makes it a whole lot easier it's called the um, fuzzy select uh, tool that's it right there all I have to do is click An area now all this air, wide area outside the signature has been selected all I have to do now is press the delete key and it deletes it now I have to go back and just click the interiors press delete click it delete and then just click and just keep uh, clicking and pressing the delete key on my keyboard There we go. We now have a transparent signature. 
but I need to darken this up a little bit I'm going to click on paint brush and click on overlay and got to make sure it's uh, you, you have a black uh, color selected make this a little bit larger so it go a little bit faster and it's not working oh I have a, a area here still that's selected when you have a, a selected area you only can work in that selected area I'm going to go back to my selection tool select it and then click see the selection is now gone now I can go back to my paintbrush and start the overlay process here we go the overlay uh, uh, marks everything but the transparency so the signature gets darkened and the transparency uh, stays the same this will make it show up really good in your document now I need to uh, save I'm going to click on file and save as it's very important in the GIMP that you include the extension because the GIMP can handle so many different files and um, so we got to tell it what kind of uh, picture format we're going to use we um, don't want to use a JPEG or you know a JPG or a BMP or something like that because those cannot handle transparencies and um, we need to use something like a PNG or a GIF because those two uh, file formats or picture formats can handle transparencies see there's a GIF that's GIF and then here's a PNG my preference is uh, just go ahead and use the PNG and save that if you do use something else besides the uh, uh, PNG or uh, G, uh, GIF, then a background would have been reinserted back in. Now let's go to Open Office here and insert the uh, signature. Let's go up here to uh, File Form. I mean, Insert on the menu bar, Picture from File. Here we go. Now we just need to surf to the location click that open there we go now let's see here right click set this to wrap through if you notice the signature is on top of the uh, writing and it's also this uh, text is showing through you can uh, make adjustments Re, uh, uh, by clicking on it, you can uh, cause a frame with the dots reappear. You grab the dots and um, to uh, size it, just drag and resize it. I hope this has been a help to you. Thank you for watching.